Jerry would say, a lot of this makes a lot of sense, but I just don't get the non-physical part. And that would always bother Esther because she said, but I'm the translator who is supposed to be translating it so that you can get it. And every now and again, she'll say to him, so now you understand the non-physical. So now you understand. And because he is now there focused and understanding now more of you are coming to more understanding about it because Esther in particular is reaching for that understanding of what it's like there what is that consciousness like and that is why she is now understanding so much more fully than ever she was able to understand before from the words that were flowing through that we are all in this non-physical realm we are all focused forward with all of you this is the answer to a question that you didn't quite ask, but it's the answer we want to give you. So just listen. <laughs> when you think about non-physical and you think about physical and you think about you being in the receiving mode, which means somebody is transmitting something to you and you being in the receiving mode of it, as you feel what it feels like when you are in that receiving mode, often your awareness as our friend was describing broadens your senses become heightened you are more of who you are when you allow the wholeness of who you are to flow it is so much more of a delicious experience so then you come to realize that you are an extension of this source energy you are an extension of this source energy but not separate from it you are an extension of it and sometimes you cause not a separation but a pinching off and that's what makes you want to define it as someplace other than where you are and it's not because it's not where you are it's because you are not allowing yourself to perceive it being where you are 